Okay, so I'm going to show you a few more things related to drawing shapes, and then uh, in the next video I'll give you some new information about animating them. So I'm just going to use the, the normal uh, setup and draw s structure that we have. So setup and draw are both defined by processing, but I'm going to redefine these functions to do something interesting, like turn the canvas gray, and um, I'm going to create a red rectangle at um, like in the middle of the screen. And I'll make it just 10 by 10. Or, you know what, it'll be an ellipse. And then um, I'm also going to create, well, let's see if this works. So there it is. You can see that it looks kind of funky, like it's bleeding out of the lines. If I make it a little bigger, you'll see it even worse. And I'll make my canvas bigger as well. When I look at this, you can see that it's like some kind of thing going on here. It's coloring outside the lines. So this is another function I want to show you. Smooth. If you run it now, you'll notice that it looks better. So that's one thing you can try out right away. Uh, another thing is, let's say I want to make a triangle that is going to be green. Um, there is a triangle function. Let's see, because it turns orange. But I'm going to make my own function uh, afterward. So, um, but for now, let's just try and make a um, triangle. So there's a function called begin shape, and anything you do between begin shape and end shape will become um, its its own enclosed shape. And so it'll fill it in using the color that I want. Works just like ellipse and triangle and rect. So um, here I'm going to define the vertexes. This is going to be the top of my triangle. And then I'm going to make a vertex that's like a little bit to the right and a little bit down. It's going to be the lower right point. And then same for the lower left point. So Y is the same, but X gets lower. So lower left point. If you look at this. There it is. That's my triangle. Um, so let's say I want to actually create a function called... Uh, green triangle. So every time I call that function, I want it to do exactly what it just did, which is create a triangle. So all I have to do is define a function called green triangular, just like I have done with uh, draw and setup. And I'm using void because it doesn't actually return anything, it just draws some stuff on the screen. So if I paste everything from before, we can actually see that the sketch should do exactly the same thing, and does. So now my next step is to make this function take some arguments. So if I type in 100 and 100 for my arguments, or um, 140 for y, those can become like x and y coordinates, let's say. So I, I, want, um, I want this function now to change the way it works and have the location specified as arguments. So I have to tell the function declaration that it's going to be receiving two numbers and I'll call one X and one Y. I can rename these anything I want but that basically determines what they're going to be called inside the inside the function itself. So now instead of drawing a vertex at uh, 140 and, and 30 I'll draw it at X, Y. So that's the new top point. This one's no good anymore. Um, now I'm going to do a, my new um, lower right point. You can see that before it was just 10 more, so I can do the same thing. It's 10 more. And you see that the Y was 20 more, so I'll do the same thing for Y. And um, I'll get rid of that. And then I'll do the same thing for my lower left. You can see that it used to be just minus 10 from the, uh, the X for the top point, and uh, the, uh, the other one was um, 20 more. So there we go. Those are my new coordinates and now it should draw a rectangle at 100 and 100. And let's say I want it at 200. That's how easy it is to change its location. Or let's say I wanted to take mouse X and mouse Y. Now it draws a triangle wherever the mouse is. You can see that the uh, point, the top point is where it draws from. So that's it. That's how you can create your own function and give it arguments as well.